Owning a car is expensive. In fact, according to AAA, it checks in at nearly $10,000 a year, which let's be real, that's an insane number. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to avoid driving habits that waste money and wreck your car. Now, if you're thinking, Hey, I'm a great driver. I don't need any tips to save money driving. Well, get in line. Because as I was researching this video, I was thinking, these will be great tips for other people but not for me, I'm an awesome driver. What I found instead was that reality gave me a cold hard slap across the face. I was guilty of a bunch of these money sucking habits. And now that I'm aware of my costly driving tendencies, I've been saving a boatload of money. So let's dive into the crazy expensive driving habits you need to avoid right now. First up is aggressive acceleration. Now, impatience on the road does not pay off. Fast acceleration after traffic lights, from stop signs, or on the highway burns more gas. And in addition to being a gas guzzler, these jackrabbit starts usually don't even get you past the next red light faster. I mean, think about the last time you weren't in a hurry at a stoplight. Was there someone who hit the accelerator right when the light turned green? There's a pretty good chance that you caught up to them at the next red light and saved gas while doing it. Now, in addition, quick acceleration causes more wear and tear on your car. Fast accelerations are also tough on drivetrain components, which are very expensive to fix. So take it easy stomping on the gas and instead stomp the like button and subscribe. After you've done that, accelerate slowly on the road. Doing so will lower your blood pressure and save some of your hard earned cash. Next up, you need to stop slamming on your brakes. Now, if you like to cruise around and then crush your brakes, you could be costing yourself lots of cash. Hard over braking, which goes hand in hand with the previously mentioned fast acceleration, can do some serious damage to your average miles per gallon. Now that's because the more you brake, the more you have to accelerate and the more gas you waste. I mean, it just makes sense. Instead, try this. Whenever possible, coast to a stop. When you know you'll have to stop soon, take your foot off of the gas pedal and let the car's momentum carry you forward for a while. Then when you get close to that red light or stop sign, brake gently. Now, doing so will save you money on fuel, since with modern cars, if you let off the gas and leave the car in gear, fuel actually stops being injected into the engine. Now, not only that, but it'll spare you the repair costs that come from wearing out your car's brakes prematurely by braking too much. The third driving habit you need to avoid is not using cruise control. Now, you might enjoy keeping your foot on the gas pedal as you zip through traffic. However, this can cost you a lot of money in gas over the long term. Using cruise control prevents mindless and unnecessary acceleration, so your engine doesn't have to work as hard. In fact, car website Edmunds found that using cruise control can actually cut back on fuel consumption by up to 14%. And not only will it save you money on gas, you'll also avoid those nasty speeding tickets. Now, speaking of speeding tickets, my wife recently stuck a post-it note on my steering wheel. It carries two simple, yet incredibly powerful words when it comes to saving money driving. Don't speed. Sure, stomping on the gas can be fun, but according to the Department of Energy, gas mileage drops like a rock above 50 miles per hour. In fact, for every five miles per hour you drive over 50, it's like paying an additional 23 cents per gallon or eight cents a liter for my Canuck peeps. And yeah, that can add up crazy fast. Now, driving 50 isn't practical or safe on the highway, of course. So to maximize your fuel economy, drive at the speed of traffic in the slowest lane. Now, in most places, that means simply following the posted speed limit. Not only will you avoid wasting gas by going over the speed limit, You'll save huge money on those pesky speeding tickets my wife keeps warning me about. Next up is don't plan short duration trips. That's because your car engine needs a certain amount of time and distance to reach its optimal operating temperature. And when it reaches this point, it will run in its most fuel efficient condition. Now, in some cases, short trips can actually double the amount of gas that you use. And around 90% of all engine wear and tear happens when the oil hasn't warmed up to the proper temperature. So be sure to plan your longest trip first and put short errands together to avoid wasting gas and wearing out your engine. Okay, let's talk about buying premium gas. Now the old school thinking is that for high performance engines, premium gas improves performance and prevents engine damage. Using the wrong fuel would make the engine knock and possibly cause damage to the internal engine components. 
Now the MIT School of Engineering is on the record as stating that high octane fuels in the right engine ultimately leads to more mechanical power from the same amount of fuel. But here's the thing, modern engines don't need premium gas to prevent engine damage. Today, sophisticated engine control systems can effectively tune engines on the fly and give drivers more flexibility in the grade of fuel that they can use safely. Now again, AAA estimates that drivers waste $2.1 billion annually buying premium gas when they don't need it. So I mean, unless you've got a turbocharged car, it's a lot of money that you don't need to spend. Next up is maybe one of the most simple ways to slash your driving expenses. What is it? Stop using your roof rack. Or at least don't leave it attached when you're done using it. And I mean, it's basic aerodynamics. Roof racks are bulky and they create increased air resistance and drag. This forces your engine to work harder and reduces your gas mileage. Any amount it can cost you is insane. Carrying things around on a roof rack, like bicycles, skis, storage pods, or human beings, I mean, it can decrease your miles per gallon by as much as 8% in the city and 25% on the freeway. Next up is idling. Now, according to the US Department of Energy, idling for more than 10 seconds, which would be short at most red lights, uses more gas than actually stopping your engine and then restarting it. And since today's more durable vehicles are so advanced technologically that there is no wear and tear on them from constant restarting, shutting off your engine to avoid idling can actually make a lot of sense. In fact, a lot of new cars are designed to shut off by themselves instead of idling. Now, while manually turning off your car can be a bit of a pain, it can save you a boatload of money. That's because according to the DOE, we waste about 6 billion gallons of gas every year by idling. And not only that, avoiding idling is fantastic for the environment. Now, when it comes to shopping, we all love to get a bargain. Unfortunately for most people, when it comes to gas, they fail to shop around. I mean, most of us have our regular gas stations, usually ones that are near our homes and jobs. But with a little planning and some research, you can save a ton of money. Now, it is insane how much gas prices can vary over small distances. And because of this, Every driver needs a Fuel Finder app that shows the best gas deals in real time. And there's lots of apps and websites you can use to show you where to find the cheapest gas in any given city. But in my experience, the best of the bunch is the crowdsourced app Gas Buddy, which gets a lot of its information from its over 60 million users. Now, not only is Gas Buddy great because it shows you where the best gas prices are, it actually saves you a few cents per gallon every time you fill up when you link your checking account to the app. And the savings can really add up quickly, with users saving between $200 and $400 a year on gas, according to their site. And with real-time gas prices at more than 140,000 gas stations in the US, Canada, and Australia, you'll never have a hard time finding a place to fill up on the cheap. Okay, once you find a gas station with a great deal on fuel, you can save a ton of dough by avoiding the pumps on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. That's because fuel merchants tend to jack up gas prices the most on the weekends. And when it comes to the best days to fuel up, Mondays are typically the cheapest to get gas. In fact, GasBuddy estimates that buying fuel on Monday instead of Sunday would collectively save the 225 million drivers in the US roughly $2.1 billion. So yeah, avoiding getting fleeced on your fuel purchase on the weekend is a good idea. Okay, the next big mistake a ton of drivers make when it comes to saving money on fuel is ignoring gas rewards programs. Okay, you saunter up to the pump, you see the rewards program and the prompt on the little screen to insert your rewards card, but you ignore it. Big mistake. Several big grocery and gas station chains offer discounts if you utilize their rewards programs, usually based on how much money you spend with them. And if you're a regular shopper at these stores and you aren't signed up, you're wasting money. Some examples of these rewards programs include BP, Exxon, Kroger, Flying J, Safeway, Shell, Speedway, and for my Canadian friends, Petro Canada. Next up is to always pay with a gas credit card. Now, even if you don't shop at one of those gas stations, you can still save a ton of money by applying for a gas rewards credit card that earns cash or points on every purchase at the pump. Then simply make a habit of using it every time you fill up. There are lots of great options available to consumers with good to excellent credit. 
And some of the best that you should check out include the PenFed Platinum Rewards Visa Signature Card, the Blue Cash Preferred Card from American Express, the Wells Fargo Propel American Express Card, the City Premier Card, the PNC Cash Rewards Visa, and the Discover It Cash Back Card. And if you belong to a warehouse club like Costco, apply for the Costco Anywhere Visa Card from City, which is a great rewards card exclusively for Costco members. Now, eligible gasoline purchases earn 4% cash back, which is payable as Costco store credit on the first $7,000 spent each year, a high enough limit to accommodate all but the highest mileage drivers. And if you prefer a particular gas station family, I mean, join its rewards program and apply for a store credit card that delivers instant savings at the pump. You can also get rewards that you can redeem later as the instant discounts of these rewards programs often offer a better rate of return than general gas credit card rewards. Saving money while driving is pretty sweet, but what if I told you you could save money while watching TV? Well, in the next video, I'll show you how when I react to the money problems of Michael Scott from the hit TV comedy, The Office. I'll see you there.